These are folders with examples about light and processing, right? Mm -hmm. And these are examples as they are in the processing library. But processing, you have processing website. Website, but you have rewritten it, or did mm -hmm. you just download the, the examples? I rewritten it. You've rewritten them. Okay. Show me a couple of examples. So first, I'm going to show you the generic lights. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is what the examples do. It creates two spheres next to each other, and they uh, and they well, uh, they have a shadow, and that that's what that's what it does. Uh, Okay, the ambient. Well, let's play the directional lights uh, first, just like we did before. Look, the color and the location is here. Mm hmm. This is another example of directional. You see, yeah. it's a little different. It's pointing down now, and the spheres move to the to the right. Spotlight this is using the spotlight. You see location. Wait, wait, color, location. That's the one with direction, eleven arguments. Angle, concentration. Spotlight two. You can you can see this actually has a variable call variable for the concentration. Mm hmm. Ambient light. This example glows these two spheres with an ambient light. Right there, they're all exactly the same color, just one single color. This is a, here I'm mixing an ambient light with a directional light. You are mixing it, or is the example in processing website yeah, mixing yeah. it? You see, here's an ambient light and it's mixed with a directional light. Mm -hmm. Uh, the point light, uh, and I have only one example of the point light. This is, this is the point light, it's, and it's somewhere out, somewhere out there, but a little, but a little further back. So... There's also uh, this is an example that shows you the normal function. I don't know what the form formula for this is. Uh, using a light, this is a light specular. I'm going to show you what specular means. Specular refers to the light which bounces off a 
surface in a preferred direction rather than bouncing in all directions like a diffuse light. Mm hmm. Those are all the examples, right? And this is the light specular example. These are spheres with two different speculars. And I also have fall off, fall off. If I get up the light fall off example, let's change the light fall off. So, get a light fall off. This is constant, this is linear, and this is quadratic. So that, this is the constant, this is the linear, and this is the quadratic amount. And basically, this is the formula. The, fa the fall off equals one divided by the constant plus the distance times the linear plus the difference, sorry, the distance squared times quadratic. Now, so, let's see why this makes sense. These are actually all of the examples, right? So these are the uh, examples from the processing website about lights. I think I'll send these Send these uh, examples to Dan. But he's got those examples. <laughs> They're not. That's not your own code. But I, I think Dan is only interested when you're doing something yourself, like when you change the spherical geometry. Geometry is that inter That's uh, interesting. Well, well, I, mm, but you haven't we, changed I, these. We can, post, we can post that. I can post that. I called this sphere. I call that example, you can see this, this is called Sphere Geometry OOP, which and a actually it includes lights. Oh, this includes lights? It includes lights, the generic lights. Yeah, look, well, that's interesting because this is your own code. This is actually, uh, well, it's not entirely because... Partially, it's based on that spherical geometry co coding challenge. Well, maybe I am going to, uh, maybe I'm going to send a sedan. <laughs> okay.